you guys well welcome to the channel it is january 27 2024 and we are taking the fastest route up to big bear and it's the fastest route by far you guys this is the desert side of our mountain range lucerne valley is right down here um, this is highway 18 right here and we are going to take highway 18 all the way up to beautiful big bear lake and by the way guys i never ask early but if you like what i do please like and subscribe i do work really really hard all the likes will help push these push these videos further and uh yeah i would really really appreciate it if you feel that i've earned it but only if i've earned it so thank you for that don't forget to go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get your merchandise um we just launched some some new merchandise also so there's great stuff high quality um and again it's gonna be a huge support for our brand for the channel and what we're trying to accomplish so um thank you guys thank you thank you and we do have our friend jim lewis with us hello. say hello jimmy <laughs> <laughs> and uh so we are actually as i said we're going to be driving up um this is going to be the first part of this video and we already drove down that's going to be the second portion but i just wanted those of you to see what it's like uh to drive up highway 18 from Lucerne Valley. It's so so much easier, you guys, so much faster. Um, less less snow. It, it's 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 just uh, it's a very simple route. So hopefully you less enjoy traffic. a way less traffic. Yeah. yeah, way less traffic. Yeah. So I will let you guys know once we get to the point where we're about to start going up the mountain. Usually well, once I see the Sam, uh, welcome to the San Bernardino National Forest sign. That's where I consider it the start. But this is the Mitsubishi plant straight ahead of you there. This is typically what everyone considers the bottom of Highway 18 on the backside. So we are we are about to start at as a matter of fact, we'll just start from right here. So it's almost 203. So we'll say 203 p.m and see what time we uh, make it up to the top without speeding. Yes, no speeding. No speeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. And then since, since we have someone going a lot faster behind us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull over and let the faster traffic by because this is how you keep traffic flowing up here. It's not a race, it's not an, an ego thing. You just want to do the best you can to be as respectful and let these guys go. And usually I get really bummed out when they don't flash their hazards at me <laughs> saying thank you. Then I regret letting them, no, I'm just kidding. Not everybody can be as good as you. <laughs> that's right, that, that, you know, that, that's a great point. <laughs> so we are on our drive up now. And it shouldn't take us more than about 10 to 12 minutes from, from this point, you guys. I know that that sounds crazy, but for those of you who do have a fear of our of our mountain roads, or like one of uh, uh, Jim's um, daughter, right? Yeah, she gets motion sickness, so we come up this way, and it's just much easier. Things get uh, a lot better. Um, the lower road here is just, it has some turns and some uh, good stuff, but you only really get the 180 switchbacks for a very short period of time yeah and the only reason we bring up these switchbacks is because it's probably the most difficult part of this road which is not difficult these are just it's it, it's just a little wrench in your spokes but it's not a big deal I, I i promise you guys but every time i say it the triple switchbacks people get really really nervous about it but you're you're about to see it as i said it's probably what would be the most pain in the butt part of this drive and it's not a pain at all this whole drive is super simple and it drops you off in, in baldwin lake so yeah i don't know if uh if you're down when we get up 
up there depending on on how many calls I have but do you like fruit smoothies we can do that yeah all right yeah. all right cool I want a strawberry banana in a bad way <laughs> break my diet a little bit but it's still yeah. you know it's 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 not bad yeah where do you go for that um i forgot i always forget the name of the place but oh. it's it, it, it's in the stater brothers parking lot okay right right across from uh, jersey mike's okay and i feel bad that i don't remember the name but What do you guys think so far? It's just a simple road. Um, again, what you're gonna have to do for most of you is drive through the Cajon Pass to on, on the 15 freeway Bear Valley Road. to Bear Valley Road, correct. And when you exit Bear Valley Road, you turn right and you take that until it dead ends on Highway 18. Then you'll turn right on Highway 18 and then just follow follow the signs because about 10, 10 miles up. Well, first of all, here's the first of the switchbacks. Yep. So, oh. and here's the second of the switchbacks. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bear Valley Road all the way down to Highway 18. It's probably a 20 minute drive from that point. You'll turn right on Highway 18 and then just follow, follow the signs once you get into Lucerne Valley because Highway 18 is going to uh, kind of take a different direction um, and so you just got to keep your eyes peeled. This is the hardest part. This is the hardest part of, of this whole drive right here and as you guys can see that just was not that bad at all. And look at that view. It's like a it's like a field goal post. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> it's just beautiful. So yeah. That's basically it, guys. And then you're just driving on this 55 mile per hour road for the rest of the way. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you have to expect at least another hour, maybe hour and a half out of the way. Um, and the Cajon Pass when we have storms is always just really, really messed up. So it's a much longer drive, but again, for those of your friends and family members that get car sick or just don't like the scary mountain roads where every turn is a 5,000 foot drop, yep. this is this is the way to go. We find, oh, I find coming from the Pasadena area um, and coming up the front way takes me about an hour and 40. Okay. And I find this bad, huh? is just over two hours. It's only like 23 minutes. No way. More. I, I, yeah. That's fantastic. But my, that. my place is over on the, you know, past, it's off, you know, division. It's not, it's not way in town. No, sure, sure. You're, you're central. Yeah. So it, it's 20 more minutes, but it's a much nicer drive. Amen. Easier. Amen. Less traffic. Yeah, and, and just, it's, that long drive up the mountain can get just, just, it's, it's just stressful. This yep. Yep. 10 to 15 minutes from the bottom to the top, you guys, it's yep. it, it, it's not not enough time to stress out. Before you know it, you're in Bear Valley. All my friends out here who live in Victorville and Apple Valley area, um, this side of our mountain range, yeah, they, they get it easy all the time. And again, this side of our mountain range doesn't see nearly as much snow as the what is called the front side, which is the San Bernardino area, Redlands, Yucaipa, that part of our mountain range. They get a lot more snow over there. 6,000 6, feet already, you guys. Why that happens so quickly is because, as, as I was saying in the later part of this video, um, the high desert at the bottom of our mountain is like between three and 3,500 feet. So you're already starting at a very high elevation and you don't have to climb that that much to actually get up here. So again, it's, it's just overall a lot easier. And uh, why not extend your trip a, a couple hours and just drive through the desert a bit? It's, it's a beautiful drive.
drive down like 18 all the uh -huh. way through Crestline yeah, and then yeah. go to the Cajon Pass and come back around. Oh, come back around? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I I did that a lot. That's how I got myself through living up here for the first few years because I was just extremely lonely. Just driving around. Just, just checking, yep. Checking out new Learn, ways. Exactly. Learning the area. Just yeah. trying to find more and more beauty up here. One of the guys I ride motorcycles with, um, he showed me to come down here and we were, we were going out. He had to pick up something down in town here. And we came up the other, up another way, shall we say, and went up to, uh, went up through uh, the area. Yeah, so that's yeah, highway. You, you know it. I don't know. <laughs> One thirty-eight. Yes. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And it was a blast. Beautiful. Yeah. That's a fun motorcycle. Especially, ride right there. I was, especially on the motorcycle. Yeah, that's so a you fun and I will have to uh, do that. Oh, uh, I would love to season drive by back. Silverwood Lake or, oh, yeah. or, or, uh -huh. or is that what it's called? I, it's, I, I believe it Whoa. might be. Some, oh, that was a motorcycle that just did that. That was. Yeah, I, there's a lot of gravel there. That's. I hope good. he's okay. Yep. I mean, that's... that's <laughs> no, it, especially around the curve, that didn't sound good at all. Yeah, guys, now you have a beautiful view of the desert, and it just gets prettier and prettier. Yeah, we're very, very lucky. Or, I should say, I'm very lucky to be a permanent resident up here. Yeah. This guy's super stoked to have a vacation home. He had a, a place in Mammoth, right? Yep. Had so, a place up there and decided to come down this way because it was just closer and uh, we would use a lot more. Yeah, I understand that. It's just, uh, wow, place in Mammoth. That's like saying, I have a little place in Aspen. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, quite, but there's but, way more snow in Mammoth. That is true. Yeah. But, People uh, do not realize that. Last year I joked, I said, they said, why are you getting rid of your place in Mammoth that has all the snow? I said, don't worry, I'm going to bring some. And that was last year. <laughs> and my neighbors went down here and they were like, send it back. <laughs> yeah, totally. We have enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. We, we always complain about lack of snow up yep. here. And then when we get a good few snow, few storms, then we complain like, that oh there's my gosh. too much snow. And yeah. It's just, there's not a happy medium. And funny enough, I hear it more often than you would think from people that live up here. Really? Like uh, that that truly complain about the snow. And my first thought is, like, I don't think you have the right to move to a town that's the size of a needle point on yep. a map. The, one of the only places in all of SoCal that snows and you're complaining about yeah. the snow. Why did you move here? Like, <laughs> of all the places in Southern California... You move here and then yeah, it's the top top southern california ski resort yeah 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 exactly but besides rightwood there's not really many other places that see snow exactly. on a regular basis in southern california so yeah i always found that kind of weird that you, you know a lot more of locals than you think actually do take issue but guys look we're at the top now so I'm I'm gonna shut shut this off as soon as we get a view of uh, of Bear Valley up here. But yeah, we are now entering Big Bear Valley and about to drop into Baldwin Lake. Um, yeah, easy, right? Easy, it's easy. Easy. Super simple. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes, right? Oh yeah. Twelve minutes. Yep. Twelve minutes. And we didn't even speed. We let someone pass. So yeah, so here's a nice view it's of the valley. So yeah, we're back in Big Bear, guys. Back in the Big Bear area. Super, super simple. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys got some information from this video. I'm just trying to save you guys time. I want you guys to really enjoy yourselves up here. Seeing some of these routes, I, 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 I know helps you mentally to see what to expect and so hopefully you got something out of it if you have any questions don't ever 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 hesitate to ask and uh don't forget like and subscribe help me out please i'd really appreciate it and uh enjoy the part going down which will be in just a moment but uh yeah jim thank you for cruising 
Absolutely. I appreciate well, thank it. Thank you man. for inviting me. My my absolute pleasure, bro. You're an honor and a pleasure to have with me, brother. Excellent. All right, guys. BigBearWeatherMore.com. Get your merch. Appreciate you guys. We will talk to you soon. Get ready for the big snowstorms that are on their way. I will not let you guys down with that. Peace out. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's January 27, 2024, and we're going to... I want to show you guys the fastest route up and down into Big Bear and out of Big Bear. It's, it's the safest, easiest route. Um, you do have to drive around the mountain to get to this particular route up here through uh, Lucerne Valley, but takes 10 to 12 minutes. Super awesome. And we got our friend Jim with us again. Hey, hey. Jimbo. <laughs> Look at his shirt, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah gotta have the gear. <laughs> so we're going to take, take Jim. He's up here visiting again. And, uh, yeah, so we get to have Jim with us. And hope you guys enjoy our little cruise and our banter back and forth. But I'm going to show you guys how fast this route is. So right now we're at the very top. This is Highway 18 on the backside. That's what it's called, 18 on the backside. There's the desert down there. And we're gonna be driving all the way down there, but you get down in an absolute heartbeat. So hope, hope you guys enjoy, as I said, and uh, yeah. This doesn't make you uncomfortable, does it? <laughs> all good. Okay. All right. Because yeah, that, I, I mean, I've, I've been doing this just, just like this for, for nine freaking years. <clears throat> you have excellent video quality. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> My arm is a tremendous gimbal. <laughs> and of course, we do have precious cargo in here. So once again, I will, I will always be as safe. I, I'm not going to race down just to show them how fast you can get down like I usually would. Um, but yeah, guys, 10, 10 to 12, 12 minutes without any traffic and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, as far as I'm concerned, it's by far the safest way up here. As I said, the only problem yep. is uh, most of you, at least 90% of you who do come up here, who watch the channel, you live on the San Bernardino side of, of this mountain range. This is the Apple Valley, Victorville side. So you would have to drive through the Cone Pass um, and just drive all the way kind of around the mountain range. So. It, it might be a little bit out of the way, but it, it is a very beautiful, beautiful drive. Especially on a motorcycle. Yes. We're going to be going to Cafe 247 when, yeah. uh, when it's summertime because uh, that's a, a, a fun little ride. I'm, I'm buying lunch for sure. Nice. And uh, yeah, you'll, it's, it's a great, great, great spot. Have you ever been there? I have not. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a great spot. And the owner, funny enough, he's he's from Newport Beach. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. So we 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 hit it off right away. Talk. Yes. He's got a lot of property down there, like wow. uh, um, his his family, and it's I guess like old, like a lot of really old Newport money, and uh, I mean just owning as much land as they have down there. What what a blessing! What a gift! know set you free for life but again it takes hard work effort no one just sat on their butt to, to you know or at least most people didn't just sit on their butt to get to that point you always get those one or two in the family right? yes yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes but i was just gonna say I, I i usually come up this way and i'm coming out from my house in uh, monrovia towards pasadena and I come over the 210, go up the uh, 15, and get and take Bear Road, uh, Bear Valley, all the way across here up to the 18, and come up this way because my daughter gets uh, motion sickness, and this is actually the easiest uh, or less less windy way up. And uh, so I continue to use it most of the time. And you guys, uh, for those of you who, who might not remember Jim, he was with us about a month ago or so, uh, cruised with us. Um, and it, it's not like he uh, called me to say, hey, can I go on another ride? I asked him, <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro, if you don't have anything to do, would you like to cruise? And he was like, sure. But uh, yeah, maybe, uh, um, I hate to do this to you, but are, are you willing to let them know what, what your... Uh, what your job was and still is and uh just that type of stuff 
I'm bragging I for talk, you. I can talk a little bit about it, but uh, it just, I signed a lot of NDAs. <laughs> well, yeah, just uh, whatever you can get away with. And as I said, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, so it's it's you don't have to say anything actually. No, I was a, I was a project manager uh, at a company, and we built a lot of stuff for Disney and Universal and and for companies around the world. Uh, you know, did Bollywood in Dubai, did some Super Mario Kart. Uh, um, I was a ride over in uh, Japan uh, for Universal, and then uh, did a bunch with the. Uh, uh, Star Wars and did the X Wings and the TIE Fighters, and then uh, we worked on the Mandalorian show. We built the uh, the main uh, ship, and uh, we did uh, a couple prototype uh, TIE Fighters with foldable wings. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, and this guy is hanging out with me like, uh, like, jeez, I feel unbelievably privileged. Yeah, Jim, that's uh pretty amazing stuff man yeah. pretty amazing stuff you have to enjoy what you do 100 percent, 100 percent. doing what you were doing though I, I i don't see how you couldn't enjoy it you there's, know it's it's hard work pressure deadlines and there's a lot of work when there's a lot of work and sometimes there's not a lot of work when, it, when, it, when it's off you know? Well, I do appreciate you divulging a little bit. Um, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Like, oh, it's all good. All right. I just, I'm, it's just, it's pretty awesome to me. And uh, to let my friends on the channel know that, like, who I'm hanging out with, you know. Yeah. I'm a bit of a, a fanboy of, of, of that type of work. Because again, it, it takes a really, really bright person with a lot of ambition um, to get to the level that you achieved, and uh, I, I just I admire that. And I appreciate that. Sure. And you become who you associate with, and yep. I'm always trying to associate with smarter people, people on that right track who have dreams in life, who work hard, and then play hard. That is, that is one thing my, my whole boss instilled to me. Work hard, play hard. Yeah, yeah, totally. He has a great vacation home up here, guys. Cute, cute place. It, it's, it's just it, so comfortable. Feels like you are going back in time a little bit. It's, it's, I, if I had that option up here, uh, this would be the exact place that I would definitely buy. No question about it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so we enjoy it. Beautiful family, very bright family. Um, yeah, just sweet, sweet, real people. Genuinely beautiful souls. And uh, yeah, I was, I was really looking forward to swinging by and grabbing you today, man. Cool. So guys, this, this is part of the three switchbacks. Yep. And this is technically what would be considered the hardest part of this road. Um, especially when when the snow gets down to this level, yes. which isn't isn't always, but um, last year, last oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh years. yeah, interesting on a couple, and it can get pretty darn icy on on these 180 turns here, um, and not only is it a 180 degree turn, but you're going uphill pretty drastically on these little turns too. So when there's any little bit of ice or snow, it, 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 it can be pretty rough. So, but, but again, that's the only really difficult spot right there. And yep. it's, it's not even difficult guys. I, I'm, I'm just saying for this road, that would be the one area to consider a little bit more when you're driving up. Otherwise it's just like this smooth, smooth sailing. This side of, of the mountain range doesn't seem nearly as much snow as over by the, uh, the Big Bear Dam or the front side on Highway 18. Um, so yeah, it's just all in all a safer, easier route. Um, really beautiful. You can drive through the desert. It's yeah, it's it's. And especially last year with you know all the huge snow and they closed the front side. This is we th drove yep. right we drove right up this thing. Yep. So when they finally open this, if you have ID to prove that you live up here. 
um, I had to get off the mountain because we were we, yeah. we, we were forced to be up there and I was getting island fever big time so <laughs> we came down and uh, it was it was great <laughs> So we are almost all the way down, guys. And what I consider all the way down to the bottom is the Mitsubishi plant. And not Mitsubishi, the vehicle. It's a, uh, what's this plant? Cement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, cement. And then we're gonna drive past it a little bit. Oh, it's getting a little bit warm up in here. Turn this on for you. big reason why this route is such an easy route also is because when you're in the high desert out here you're al you're already around 3,000 feet in elevation so you're not climbing that much yeah versus the front side yeah go all the way up all the way up perspectives of driving down and driving up um, in the car using the camera it's a, a completely different view so it, it's gonna feel like two completely separate drives but we're just gonna go up and down real quick because a lot of you have been asking me what's the fastest easiest route again you you have to if you're on the the LA San Bernardino and Riverside side of the mountain range you're gonna have to drive through the Cajon Pass yep to get to this area eventually. So it is a bit of a drive. And we just left the San Bernardino National Forest. Here is the Mitsubishi plant right over here. So we're we're already down. Yep. Uh, you know, we're gonna go down another five minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, you're technically at the bottom of the mountain range now. At least of the steep climbing. Mitsubishi plant. <sighs> yeah, thanks for cruising, man. Absolutely. It's fun. Yeah, thanks, man. And it's so beautiful today. Look, wow, there's there's just you, you can see see a long way today. It's a beautiful day, but I wish there was more snow. <laughs> I know, man. Totally, totally. Well, you know what they say, careful what you wish for, yeah. because it's coming. It, it's it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. But I'm super anxious because I don't sleep much, and this is gonna be like nine nine days in a row. Yeah. So it, it, it's gonna be pretty rough. I will definitely make it up during the. That would be awesome, man. Yeah. That would be awesome. I want to try to go skiing during the storm. Um, I am going next Tuesday, I think. Right. Yeah. You know, my my friend got me that that icon pass oh, thing, so I, I I don't want to not not use it. And it's sure. as much of a pain in the butt as, as skiing can be for me because it's just a, a, a lot of effort. Um, I appreciate what he did for me, and I don't want to let him down. So, all right, guys. So we're gonna turn right here on a. Uh, Camp Rock Road and then just kind of turn around and start to head back up. But I'm going to make a separate vid a separate video for the uh, heading up. Or a separate clip, I should say. But yeah, this is the desert, guys. This is it. This is the beautiful desert. When I first moved here, it took me a while to uh, really appreciate all this beauty out here. But this is a really, really beautiful place. It's Mars-esque. All right, cool. So hang tight, guys.